I talked to a bunch of girlfriends t yesterday. Tell me funny gyno stories. And they're like, I don't know any funny gynecologist stories. Gynecologists don't freak me out. And I feel like that's why I have so many strange stories. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. Hi, my name is Shayla and I do these videos every Wednesday. Now, what do you want to say? Ryan, um, I love you. This Wednesday, I'm in California in my van. I'll be in the van on the West Coast for the rest of the year until like Thanksgiving, so like another month maybe. This Wednesday, I want to talk to you about the gynecologist. If you're a guy and that's the end of that for you, we'll see you next week. If you're a girl, I need to know if my thoughts are normal. I feel like most of your life, you're just thinking things, assuming that they're normal, and then you say something to your friends and they're like, what? What? Okay, so this week when I was getting ready, I was getting fancy for my video, putting my makeup on and getting all fancy, and they're like, you look like you're getting ready for a date. Then I started thinking, because I just went to the gynecologist recently for like a normal checkup, just to, hey, how are things? As I'm lotioning up my legs to go to the gyno, I'm like, geez. I don't even lotion my legs on a regular day. Going to the gyno is like going on a first date. Not even, for me, first dates, there's not gonna be any. I'm gonna keep everything. It's all gonna, maybe a kiss, maybe. Probably not. So it's more like a, we've been dating for a couple nights. They wanna come over and watch a movie, Netflix and chill kind of night where you're like showered that day. You shaved, making sure your legs are all lotioned up. You're like getting ready to go to the gyno. <laughs> Gynecologists don't freak me out, and I feel like that's why I have so many strange stories. I talked to a bunch of girlfriends t yesterday, being like, tell me funny gyno stories, and they're like, I don't know any funny gynecologist stories. I do, apparently, so I'm curious if any of you have any weird stories, or if it's just me because I'm chatty Kathy in the gyno. So they tell you, like, okay, you can leave your top on, but take the bottoms down off. And so I'm like, okay, whatever, take it off. You put a sheet over your lap, and then I realize that I take off my shoes and socks. After talking to these ladies, they're like, you take your socks off? Yeah? You're like, don't, you, just, you don't think it's weird? No, I just, I figured, why would I have no bottoms on and socks on? And they're like, well, I'm kind of weird with my feet and I don't want people looking at them. You're weird about your feet at a gynecologist appointment. Okay, so my socks are off. I'm laying down on this bed, she comes in, and like, girl, guy, it doesn't matter to me. I don't really give, they do this all day long. I know that they see a million. I'm not, I'm not worried, girl or guy, at all. So I'm laying down, it's a girl, laying down, looking up at her little sign that she's made on the ceiling that's like, relax and chill. I don't know what it said, but I would assume something like that. She tells me, oh my gosh, I love your anklet. Did you make it? <sighs> No, I got that in Nicaragua. Like, it's just weird. That was just a weird thing to say. My friend is like, yeah, and then they do this sniff test. The what? She's like, yeah, where they're like, oh, things are smelling okay. Never have I ever. Maybe like, maybe they recognize it, but they don't like audibly. What are you, what are you doing down there? Why are you sniffing loudly? Maybe take note and write it down and don't say anything, but like, don't do that. After my last gynecologist appointment, I sat up and I'm telling her about what I do. I travel, I'm doing this. And she was like this hippie who lived in California. And she was like, that is so cool. She gave me a hug. Pants are still off, socks are still off, still have the sheet over my, my lap. And I'm talking to my friend and I'm like, I don't know if she was trying to like look over my shoulder and check out my butt or I don't know. He was like, was this after the exam? And I was like, yeah. After the exam, I don't think she was trying to look over your shoulder and check out your butt. That's, that's fair. Amber told me that once you have a kid and you have eight people just dig it in and try and remove something from down there, you really don't care at all. Typically for me, I've never had a child, but there's always like an intern in the room. There's just like someone else there in the room just watching this whole thing go down. It's fine. They're learning and they're there to learn. One of my strangest encounters, when I got my IUD, because I have an IUD, the little marina thing, you have to go in on your time of the month. I don't like the word period. You have to go in on your time of the month for things. After he gives me the birth control, he is like, well, since I'm down here, you want me to just put, give you a tampon? And I was like, I mean, that's some first class service. He was like a seven year old man. He had way too many gynecologist appointments in his day. That was nothing. So along with the tampon theme, there are all these alternatives to tampons. There's like period panties, which I hate both of those words. So I'm gonna call them time of the month underwear. 
and apparently that's just what you wear. Would you guys be interested if Amber and I did like a time of the month underwear review or something? See what, uh, see what kind of review we can do? This is funny because on my YouTube channel, it's mostly guys that watch. On my Facebook channel, it's mostly girls. So I'm really appealing to the halfsies. I think just because I feel so comfortable and I ask questions and it's chatty and they feel comfortable, that's why I have all these weird experiences. And so I'm curious if like chatted up with a gyno or if you're just like silent and awkward or if you take your socks off or if you feel like it's a Netflix and chill night every time you go, you try and make sure things are tip top. Let me know. I would like to hear that. If you're a guy that's still watching, kudos. I am very impressed with you. I hope you didn't know what gynecologist was and you watched the video trying to figure out and then was disturbed. Either way, send me a video. I want to put you guys in these videos. So send me a video saying subscribe to living on a one way. <laughs> we, we can take that out. <laughs> or something. I would love that. Send it to contact at living on a one way and I will see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.